So folks, today in Stormworks, we have two of the most amazing and unique creations I've ever seen. We have the Titanic Shipwreck and we have the House from Up. So stay tuned until the end, hit that thumbs up button, and let's jump in. So folks, we are about to do something that is absolutely incredible, and I've only dreamed about doing it here in Stormworks. And it involves the Titanic, and no, it's not us sinking it or playing with the one-to-one -one scale. We're actually going to be checking out a Titanic shipwreck here so we are in the uh the correct portion of the map uh this thing spawns in by the tarn rocks and uh yeah we're gonna go down explore it uh it was advised by the creator to do this at night uh to give it a little bit more realistic feel uh so here let's jump into our sub here i would like to potentially go out and go into the uh the wreckage itself which i'm hoping we can do and yeah i'm super excited for this so let's go ahead and get our sub powered up uh, and ready to go. All right, so you can see we've switched over to night, so we're gonna go down and see if we can locate it. I don't know if it's like right on uh, the rocks here, or if maybe it's a little offset. So let's go ahead and start to dive down here. Probably need to fill the ballast up. So we are gonna go ahead and just drop straight down here. We'll try the different uh, settings as far as the daylight uh, to see what works best with this, but it was, like I said, advised to do it at night because I guess it's gonna look uh, a little bit better especially once we get the uh, the spotlights on it which i think is going to look incredible okay we are searching for the seafloor i've got a monitor here is that below us or in front of us that is a good question all right let's keep looking here uh we're definitely going down do we have a i guess i could put a depth hold on uh to set how far we need to go down uh let's go ahead and let everything fill up as far as the ballast this is pretty incredible. Okay, looking down, I think that is definitely the sea floor here. It's not too deep here. There was a recommended seed uh, to go play with the Titanic here. Okay, is that? Oh, that's definitely the ground. All right, so we are pointed. We're kind of a little off it here. So let's start scanning. Uh, see if we see an outline. There's definitely some rocks over to the left side of us. Uh, let's just go forward here. Folks, something is, oh, you gotta be kidding me. We've already found it. Okay, it is directly in front of us. Uh, you can see the side of it. Okay, I, I admit doing this at night, this was definitely the right choice. Uh, let's uh, illuminate as much of it as possible here. I've got all my spotlights on. What's really cool is it actually looks weathered uh, down here. Like, that is amazing. So yeah, this isn't too deep, so we should be able to actually get out and uh, check it out. Uh, do we have... Okay, we got magnets. I think we, maybe we could attach to the deck, which is probably something they wouldn't do in real life, uh, considering how ready to fall apart this thing is. Uh, do they have the back section, or is this just the front? Honestly, I don't know what kind of shape the wreckage is in, like in its current state. I know it was decaying a lot and like i'm pretty sure here in i don't know maybe how many years maybe 50 or so years like i wonder is there going to be really much left of the ship all right so let's come down let's go ahead and toggle our magnets uh there are magnets in the front can we attach ourselves to this deck uh that's a good question all right come down come down uh oh well we're down here all right let's see if we go up any i, I think this might be okay here all right, here we go. I got a little bit better approach. So there is a ground hold on this sub that should stop us like right around maybe the surface here if I stay on the ship or it might drop us to the side of it. That is incredible looking though. Yeah, I don't know why it sounds like we're hitting something. We're actually not touching uh, the surface. Oh, okay. A little wobbly here. All right, so we want diving equipment on. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out and check this out. I can like get out of this right it's a pretty tight little squeeze but i think i can make it out of this and be able to close this probably want to bring some glow sticks on let's close that there we go okay we're coming out all right so we are out let's go and make sure flashlight is on all right so here we are we're actually here with the wreckage of the titanic can we go down in it i think we can dude that is amazing uh wait where'd our sub go our sub just dropped well, that's not good. Well, we do have uh, glow sticks, so we'll toss those out. That was really, really bright. Okay, uh, let's go down below here. 
Uh, toggle the flashlight on. Whoa, that's crazy. So some of the interior is modeled. Okay, so I guess we're right around the, maybe the anchor rooms here. Hold on, let's go down. I know they've sent robots down in here. Of course, I think it's fairly low in the ocean. I don't think you can actually get a human out here. This is kind of like a first. This is cool though. Uh, you can see down towards probably its cargo areas. Uh, what else is intact here? I didn't check around the ground around the ship to see if maybe there was some other pieces to it. Uh, you just kind of have this main piece here. Uh, is the wheelhouse still in place? Hold on, let's go up top here. Oh, you can see the damage, like, uh, pieces laid over. That's pretty cool. Right, let's drop another. I'm gonna drop a couple flares, uh, on the sides of the ship. Just to kind of illuminate everything around it. Yeah, these flares have, like, an odd brightness to them. Uh, I try to throw them a little away. That way you're not completely blind underwater, but there we go. Alright, so we got a little bit out uh this is creepy too not gonna lie wait can we open this oh we can't oh look at that uh also i wish when you were swimming this flashlight was more stable you know i'm kind of surprised they didn't put lights on the diving suits in this game like that would have made a little more sense that way you have like a little bit more stable light especially here at night uh where are we heading looks like maybe some of the cabin areas i like how they added the little pipe pieces to make it look like uh the kind of rotting and probably like little growth and stuff that's been going on under here. I'm trying to figure out which area we're in. Is this the grand staircase? Uh, comment down below. I don't, I mean, I feel like it kind of is, but it's all definitely damaged down here. How far down in the ship can we go? Hold on, let's keep going. Uh, oh, yeah, you can get quite a ways down here. It looks like it stops right in this area. All right, let's go back up. Any fishies in here? Any sharks? Uh, looks like we got another almost like a dining area. I want to see where the ship is split so We definitely need to get a look at the back side of this. All right, so we're gonna come out the top So yeah, this is definitely all broken up up here. Uh, you can see some of the debris uh, Probably some of like the the sand and all that that's settled over here. All right, so this is the top deck uh, Let's go around to the back. There's pieces. Oh, you can see where it's broken up up here uh, That is pretty incredible are my flares still going? They are, they're a little less bright. I'm going to release another flare over here. Yeah, I really want to get a look at the back side of this. Yeah, it's definitely all caved down. And it, what I like is the whole fact that the creator didn't just like stick one of the Titanics uh, down here. They actually did a lot of decorating to make it look like it's weathered and like it's been down here for ages. Like I really do appreciate the, uh, the details here. This is cool. Oh, and can we see into here? Looks like one of the halls. There's a lot of damage on this side. Uh, hold on, let's kind of go around. Yeah, you can see holes in here. Uh, so if we kind of go into this area, see holes in the wall. That kind of leads down to one of the areas we were at earlier. You know what I am seeing? I I'm seeing these hook places uh, for ropes. I wonder, is this a static object? or I, I don't think it would be loose, but it would be kind of cool if you could uh, get one of those ship recovery uh, vessels out here, maybe hook it up to it and try to lift it up. Uh, of course, you wouldn't do that in real life. This thing's ready to fall apart. But just out of curiosity, I wonder if you could lift the creation. All right, here's the backside. Uh, so looking off in the distance, I don't see any other pieces. So I think this might be it. Let's drop another flare here. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking that's it. You know, it'd be creepy if a Kraken were to show up. Uh, yeah, but look at that. The whole backside of the ship's falling off here. Uh, we can go down. Is that, like, a part of the boilers? Oh, uh, look at the dining. It's still weird how all, like, the stuff's in place. I would assume that uh, a lot of the dining stuff was probably anchored down. I don't know about the chairs, though. Uh, I'm kind of curious about that. Yeah, we definitely haven't been in this section. This is all, like, dining back here. Uh, if we go across, you got a staircase here. More dining. Not sure if that was the grand staircase we were originally looking at, to be honest with you. But yeah, you can look up back through here. Man, honestly, it's just so cool. Oh, you can see the like the floor patterns in here. Uh, I, I like how they've done this, though. Made everything look like it's sloped off. Uh, yeah, this is definitely cool. You can kind of go up through the halls through the backside. Uh, will this lead out to the main staircase we were at? Yeah, it does, actually. Cool. And you can just go right back up through here. 
Yeah, there it is. We actually have a legit, like, really good Titanic wreckage here uh, in Stormwork. I'm absolutely in awe of this thing. So we're going to change it up a little bit here. We checked out the Titanic wreckage, which was a very unique creation. But folks, we've got another one here. This is the Up House from the movie Up. And yeah, basically this house is going to be supported by all these balloons and we're going to fly off and uh, do stuff because we're old, we're ready to move out, or actually I think we're getting kicked out of our neighborhood, uh, but we have a grand idea to keep the house and yeah, we're going to float off. Uh, so this is the thing. This house is like fully detailed. Also, it kind of cast an ominous shadow here, not going to lie. So I need to read a couple things about it. I do want to go into the house uh, first. Hold on, we got a doorbell. Uh, doorbell doesn't appear to be working. Uh, maybe there's power somewhere. Probably need like infinite electricity on or something. On hit it again. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got that hooked up. Uh, let's turn on some lights real quick. All right, here we go. Hall lights, porch lights. Dude, this is honestly, it's cute. It's a cute little house here. Uh, you do have some functional supplies on the wall, which is kind of funny. Uh, what is this? Power. Is this the TV? Oh, you know what? This is actually... Okay, might not want to click that. That's where we're going to steer this thing from. Uh, so, yeah, you got a cute little kitchen back here. Uh, I love this little house. Uh, you can turn on the little lights in here, vents. Uh, we can go upstairs, which they do have the little stair lift. Uh, I do remember the people were older in this movie. Uh, stair lift does work. Uh, you can click up here. And it'll take you all the way up here to the, uh, the second floor. It is a tiny little house, but, I mean... It was old people. They just kind of settled down. This was their dream house, and this is all they needed. Uh, not going to spoil anything else from the movie, just in case you haven't seen it, or if you've lived under a rock and haven't seen it. But yeah, I highly suggest checking it out. Also, look what they did to the attic. Oh, there's parachutes up here. We might need that. Uh, they had, like, the little uh, wires that go across. It kind of appears to be, like, uh, spider webs. Uh, I like that. Okay, so apparently we need to go to the left side of the house. That's where there is, I guess, a connection. Oh, there's another uh, parachute here. All right, so if we go over here, oh, let's turn on the lights, electricity, uh, circuit breaker. I have infinite electricity on right now, so maybe I didn't have to do that. I think it's actually ready to go. Uh, so I guess we're just going to lift off here. So let's go ahead and set in the seat. And then we've got our power. Okay, make sure that's on. So we got our steering. Uh, is switching the channel up. Is this going to lift us here? How do we lift ourselves? Okay, here we go. Altitude. So if I raise it, what does happen? Oh, jeez. Okay, the house is flying. The house is... That is amazing. Uh-oh, I might have left the electrical connector on the side. It is now pinned up our up house. Uh, I think I was probably told to remove that. Oh, you can see how we lifted up off the foundation. No, the electricity's trying to keep us in. Can I do it from the window? Uh, is it on this side? I think it is. Uh, I don't think I can. I might have to no clip out there. Where is our connector at? Okay, it's right there. We're gonna go on a dangerous mission in order to try to actually disconnect that. Okay, go up here. No! Okay, what if I do it from down here? Like I've managed to ruin the up movie. All right, go to here. Uh, we're gonna stand on this, get down, detach. Okay, uh, wait, should I stay attached to this? Will I actually fly with it? Or is it just going to stretch out? I'm kind of curious. No, I think it's actually loose right now. All right, let's get back in the house before it flies away. Our objective was to escape with the house, not lose the house. Dude, this is so cute. Okay, uh, let's go up. Altitude, let's just put it all the way up. We might want to set the seed here. All right, let's hold that. Uh, oh, am I going the wrong way? Okay, here we go. And <laughs> Komodo might have held the wrong button, and we have officially ruined the old man's dreams, and we have died. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we are back once again, and I have figured this out. I've got this. Look at that. We're going up now. Uh, we have successfully done it. Do you think the up house can, like, withstand high winds? That is honestly a good question. Uh, also, I do want to walk around in this thing once I get it, like, pretty far up and stabilized. I just want to see how plausible it is to just stay up here. Honestly, this is one of the most unique creations ever. It's so cool. All right, so we're up and altitude can still climb yeah you can get up really high all right so let's walk around i kind of let it stabilize a little bit here honestly not too bad it feels like you're moving in slow motion a little bit but it's because the uh, creation's kind of bobbing around but this is good like i have no complaints about this all right so what if the up house got caught in a storm here so let's go uh rain and wind 
Does it blow it? Oh no! That's bad. <laughs> it's kind of funny to be honest with you. So we're actually traveling with the wind. There is steering. So if I go over to here, uh, I can click like left and right to try to steer this thing. And yeah, it's starting to turn in here. That's cool. It's so cool. Um, yeah, we're just kind of going with the wind here though. It's bad that I move faster when, I, when it's windy. Han, can we look at the front porch? Okay, that is uh, it's pretty sketchy. So I have a parachute on, but it, it doesn't show. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and parachute off. And boom. We got it. I'm not really sure what we learned here today. We learned that there are some really, really weird and unique creations here in Stormworks. And go check them out. We'll see you guys next time.